prayer begins on page 41. Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no help in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to all people, Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. <clears throat> Tonight's psalms are Psalms 39, 40, and 41, beginning on page 318. I said, I will take heed to my ways, that I may not offend with my tongue. I will keep my mouth as with the bridle. I held my tongue and spoke nothing. I kept silence even from good words, but it was pain and grief to me. My heart was hot within me, and while I was thus pondering, the water kindled, and at last I spoke with my tongue. Lord, let me know my end and the number of my days, that I may, that I may learn how short my life is. Behold, you have made my days in the span of length, and my age is even as nothing before you, and truly everyone living is but a breath. For everyone walks about as a shadow, and disquiets himself in vain. He heaps up riches and cannot tell who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what is my hope? Truly my hope is in you. Deliver me from all my offenses, and make me not a taunt of the foolish. I became youth and opened up my mouth, for it was youth and brought up to pass. I take your affliction from me. I am consumed by the blows of your heavy hand. When you would refuse, chase and some of for sin. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and with your ears consider my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears. For I am a stranger with you, and a sojourner as all my fathers were. O turn your gaze for me, that I may again be glad, before I go away to be seen no more. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me. He brought me out of the horrible pit, 
out of the mire and clay. He set my feet upon the rock and secured my footing. He has put a new song in my mouth, a song of thanksgiving unto our God. Many shall see and fear, and shall put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who has set his hope in the Lord, and has not turned to the proud, or to those who go about lying. O Lord my God, great are the wondrous works which you have done, and also your thoughts toward us. There is none who can be compared with you. If I should declare them and speak of them, they would be more than I am able to express. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but my ears you have opened. Burnt offerings and sin offerings you cannot not require, and so I said, Behold, I come. In the volume of the book it is written of me, that I delight to do your will, O oh my God. Indeed, your law is within my heart. I have declared your righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I will not restrain my lips, O oh Lord, and have you known. I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart. My talk has been of your truth and of your salvation. I have not concealed your loving mercy and truth from the great congregation. Withdraw not your mercy from me, O Lord. Let your loving kindness and your truth always preserve me. For innumerable troubles have encompassed me. My sins have taken such hold of me that I am not able to look out. Indeed, they are more numbered than the hairs of my head, and my heart has utterly failed me. O Lord, let it be your pleasure to deliver me. Make haste, O Lord, to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded who seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be driven backward and rebuked who wish me evil. Let them be desolate and rewarded with shame who say to me, Aha, aha. Let all those who seek you be joyful and glad in you. And let those who love your salvation say always, The Lord be praised. As for me, I am poor and needy, but the Lord cares for me. You are my helper and deliverer. Do not tarry, O oh my God. Blessed is the one who considers the poor and needy. The Lord shall deliver him from the time of trouble. The Lord preserves him and keeps him alive, that he may be blessed upon earth, and delivers him not over to the will of his enemies. The Lord comforts him when he lies sick upon his bed and restores him from his bed of sickness. I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil of me, and when shall he die and his name perish? And if anyone who comes to see me, he speaks empty words. His heart receives falsehood within him, and when he goes forth, he tells it. All my enemies whisper together against me. <clears throat> Even against me are they devising evil. A deadly thing has taken hold of him, and now that he lies down, he will rise up no more. Indeed, even my own familiar friend, whom I trusted, who also ate of my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. Be merciful to me, O Lord. Raise me up again, and I shall be By this I know you favor me, that my enemy does not triumph over me. And when I am in health, you will hold me, and shall set me before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, world without end. Amen. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A 
prayer of Habakkuk according to Shigunah. O Lord, I have heard the report of you and your work. O Lord, I do fear. In the midst of the years, re revive it. In the midst of the years, make it known. In wrath, remember mercy. God came from Teman, and the Holy One from Mount Paran, Selah. His splendor covered the heavens, and the earth was full of his praise. His brightness was like the light, rays flashed from his hand, and there he veiled his power. Before him went pestilence, and plague followed at his heels. He stood and measured the earth. He looked and shook the nations. Then the eternal mountains were scattered. The everlasting hills sank low. His were the everlasting ways. I saw the tents of Cushan in affliction. The curtains of the land of Midian did tremble. Was your wrath against the rivers, O Lord? Was your anger against the rivers or your indignation against the sea when you rode on your horses or your chariot of salvation? You stripped the sheath from your bow, calling for many arrows, Salah. You split the earth with rivers. The mountains saw you and writhed. The raging water swept on. The deep gave forth its voice. It lifted its hands on high. The sun and moon stood still in their place at the light of your arrows as they sped, at the flash of your glittering spear. You marched through the earth in fury. You threshed the nations in anger. You went out for the salvation of your people, for the salvation of your anointed. You crushed the head of the house of the wicked, laying him bare from thigh to neck. Selah. You pierced with his own arrows the heads of his warriors, who came like a whirlwind to scatter me, rejoicing as if to devour the poor in secret. You trampled the sea with your horses and the surging of mighty waters. I hear and my body tremble. My lips quiver at the sound. Rottenness enters into my bones. My legs tremble beneath me. Yet I will quietly wait for the day of trouble to come upon people who invade us. Though the fig tree should not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, the produce of the olives fail and the fields yield no food, the flock be cut off from the fold, and there will be no herds herd in the stall. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in the God of my salvation. God the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer's. He makes me tread on my high places. The word of the Lord. Tonight's first canticle is canticle number eight on page 85. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples, that, that they remember his name is exalted. Sing the praises for the Lord, for he has done great things. 
and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, bring out your joy, for the Great One in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Today's second lesson, a reading for the book of Matthew. Jesus and Beelzebul. Then they brought him a demon-possessed man who was blind and mute, and Jesus healed him so that he could both talk and see. All the people were astonished and said, Could this be the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard this, they said, it is only by Beelzebul, the prince of demons, that this fellow drives out demons. Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined, and every city or household divided against itself will not stand. If Satan drives out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then can his kingdom stand? And if I drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your people drive them out? So then they will be your judges. But if it is by the Spirit of God, then I drive out demons. Then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or again, how can anyone enter a strong man's house and carry off his possessions, unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder his house. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. And so I tell you, every kind of sin and slander can be forgiven, but blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. Anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But anyone who speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or in the age to come. Make a tree good and its fruit will be good, or make a tree bad and its fruit will be bad. For a tree is recognized by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you, who are evil, say anything good? For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him, and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. But I tell you that everyone will have to give account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken. For by your words you will be acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned. The word of the Lord.
recite together the Magnificat on page 45. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has regarded the lowliness of his handmaid. For behold, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For he that has magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him throughout all generations. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and has exalted the humble and the meek. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. He remembered his mercy has helped his servant Israel, as he promised to our fathers Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us recite together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Tonight we will pray the first suffrage. O Lord, show your mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let the people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your prayers. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Almighty God, who gave to your servant Cyprian boldness to confess the name of our Savior Jesus Christ before the rulers of this world and courage to die for his faith, grant that we may always be ready to give a reason for the hope that is in us and to suffer gladly for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us pray the second collect of mission on page 51. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Your authorized intercessions and thanksgivings may now follow.
Let us pray together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all who do remain. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory throughout all the ages. Amen.
Join me in the prayer of St. John Chrysostom on page 52. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us all with joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.